it's Mara from Get In Shape. Welcome to my kitchen. I can't see you in the gym, so I have to see you here. Today, I'm going to provide you with an awesome recipe to make a protein smoothie. I know a lot of you use protein in the gym after your workouts. This is a great way to use it at home and make it taste really good with getting in some good vegetables, some good fruits, and some good nutrients. Um, so this is what I do. Of course, you can vary it. You can use any ingredients you want. If there's certain fruits that you like over others, go for that. Berries are lowest in glycemic, so they're gonna have the least amount of sugar, highest amount of fiber. So I definitely recommend using berries as I always do. Um, so I use um, organic spinach. I usually take a pretty good size handful of spinach and place it in the bottom of my cup, okay? So spinach is gonna give you lots of fiber, lots of vitamin A, lots of vitamin K. Afterwards, I'll put in some berries. I don't measure them out. You can to be more specific um, if you want to know your exact calorie ratios. Otherwise, I just do frozen organic blueberries, frozen organic raspberries, and those are typically the berries I stick with. Stick with. Every now and then, I will use some strawberries as well. Then I'll add a healthy fat, because you always want to have a healthy fat. Anytime you're having some protein, you want some fat along with your carbohydrates. So there's two different alternatives. You could use some chia seeds, um, or you could use avocado. If I don't have one, I use the other, vice versa. Um, today I'm going to use chia seeds, typically about one teaspoon full. So the chia seeds are going to provide you with omega-3 fatty acids as well as a little bit of protein and a lot of fiber. So really good. A serving size is two tablespoons. I typically use one in my smoothie and I get one later on in the day. Um, if you like your smoothie to be creamy, you want to add some banana. If you don't like it to be creamy or a thicker consistency, you wouldn't want to. I typically freeze my bananas. So when I notice my bananas getting bad and they're turning you know, darker in color, instead of wasting the bananas, I cut them up in small chunks and freeze them because they are so awesome and so tasty in smoothies. So a little piece of banana. Always either unsweetened almond, coconut milk. You can use unsweetened oat milk or water. Definitely stay away from cow's milk when you're making these, okay? And again, as much as you want or as little as you want. If you want it to be a thicker consistency, use less. And if you want it to be thinner, like a regular drink, you would obviously use more. We have our scent protein here, which I'm a big proponent of. This is whey protein, one of the best brands that you can use. 25 grams of protein per 120 calories. You can't beat that. This is what I want you ladies to use every time you finish your workouts. You can also have the smoothie first thing in the morning for breakfast. Really great alternative. Um, but today, I'm going to make a plant-based smoothie. So I already had my whey protein for the morning. So that's why today I'm going to do plant-based because I just did a workout with my girls at the track. So plant-based is made from peas. This is one from Whole Foods. Um, it's a coconut almond flavor. Doesn't have as much protein as the Ascent. That's why I typically recommend Ascent over pea protein. But like I said, it's a good alternative. So there you have it. I added all my ingredients. I have my spinach, my raspberries, my blueberries, my omega-3 fatty acids with my ground chia seeds, a little banana, my protein powder. Oh, last but not least, I did forget, ice. Um, ice will help to make it taste better, keep it really cold. And again, it will uh, make it nice and thick. So I use about three large ice cubes. Um, I put my top on and then I have a neutral bullet. You can use anything that you want at home. You can use a blender, a Nutribullet, um, the Ninja, any of those are equivalent. Um, mine is, like I said, I use the Nutribullet. I'll grab a cap, shake it up. I will spare you the loud noise. Um, shake it, put it on it, turn it, and then drink it, and it will give you some great nutrients, protein, fiber, antioxidants. Um, like I said, do it first thing in the morning or after any workout. You wanna fuel your bodies right when we're trying to fight this virus, ladies. Half of the equation is not only exercise, but it's nutrition. And when we're trying to stay healthy, nutrients, whatever we choose to put into our bodies are fundamental and so important. So this is a great way of getting all of those in and it's so quick and easy to do, I promise. Okay, have a great day, stay healthy. I miss you all, bye.